I did. I did. <laughs> I definitely did. And um, if my if my whole city to change the, that the Drake moment was the moment like that's when I was yeah, like okay a lot so, of people know me from controversial shit like that yeah yeah the whack the I'm gonna stand record. on the business regardless of whoever the, whatever you call it's funny though cause you called Drake out for cultural appropriation way before Kendrick did I did I did <laughs> I definitely did and um if my if my whole city would've supported what I was on back then for the reasons that I did it then we would have got the same reaction that Kendrick Lamar in California did. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just a beautiful thing with, again, no discredit to either one of those artists because, again, I have nothing to do with that shit and I don't give a fuck about that shit because I'm a millionaire, I'm Sauce Walker, and I made it. I beat the black ball mm -hmm. of the rap games, of those type of scenarios. But to, to speak on that particular situation is that um, it's just a beautiful um, thing to see the the outcome of a, a entire city and then entire state standing behind an artist that represents them well and represents their culture and just trying to def defend for their culture and the culture itself not um trying to mediate or uh, prohibit their artists from fending for their culture but instead standing behind them and, and supporting that ideal. And that's that's the difference between appreciation and appropriation, and that's what creates the a bigger landscape of economy and opportunity for that city. Mm -hmm. Because regardless of in New, New York is the same way. If somebody was to come to New York and try to uh, appropriate New York culture and style and not give back to it, like uh, I, I don't know who's a good example to use, but because nobody does that in fucking New York. Nobody come to New York and act like a battle rapper or act like a, a, a lyricist or act like a fucking a drill rapper and then don't do music with the drill rappers. You don't can't. come rap with, you cannot yeah, do that. Not, you can't do it that. doesn't make sense. You can't, when the, when everybody was doing this little this shit and, and doing that little uh, Jersey dance, yeah. nobody from around the world did that dance or made music with, uh, on that sound frequency without acknowledging that it came from those places or bringing those kids from New Jersey on stage or you know, and the East Coast is gonna govern that. The the, the South was, in, in Texas, Houston especially was supposed to govern govern that. And you know what I'm saying? It's cool because somebody gotta do it and I did it. It's, I ain't tripping them, bro. Don't, don't you think Houston probably looks at Drake different because there wouldn't be Drake I without don't. Houston? It like doesn't, I, don't give a, I don't give a fuck what Houston look at it like. It's what I said. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm a Jay Prince too. Mm -hmm. Like what, what my, I'm, my word is a law. What I'm saying is, well, what I speak is the real opinions of the city of Houston, the people that's in the South Side, the people that's on the North Side, the people oh, so that felt like that already. Yeah, they just ain't Same. got the platform or the voice or the, the they not gonna get the response that I'm again, and they can't fade the heat. Fade the water. Everybody know I I got the manpower. I got the money. I had the what well, the validity, whatever this needed necessary from my age then to right now. Just like I've shown people, it's a lot of people that thought I was gonna be an overnight or fly by night artist or an artist that. And then you also also understand, realize that I, I'm independent. I've been independent my entire rap career. Ten, years, I've been in the rap game ten years now, going on eleven years, and I'm a multi-millionaire, still more relevant than majority of the rappers that came out in my gener in my generation or my period my time period 10 years later I'm still making all this money and still growing so um you know it, 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 it's more of a thing for me like if if somebody don't take the chance to make the step or to speak up on it then I'm just like everybody else is just complaining behind closed doors and being right. scary or just you know what I'm saying and then what I was saying it, it was not no it's not make believe it's simple it's not fucking rocket science it was simple shit if you in this city and you saying like what you just said, you just said that it wouldn't be no Drake without Houston. It wouldn't be no Drake without Houston. Okay, so at at the time, why did Drake not? And still to this day, why did Drake not have no bunch of records with Houston artists? You didn't doing that with Atlanta. If mm -hmm. if you love Atlanta and he got you got it's seven, eight, nine, fifteen artists that you got songs with in Atlanta because mm -hmm. why? Yeah. Not only does it, not only does you know that the city of Atlanta was gonna look at you weird for not doing that look at you and feel a certain type of way by you by you not making those songs and making those moments with that city but you knew that it was also beneficial for you as an artist to make music with these songs because the leveling of stardom and momentum it feeds each other versus you feel that I'm just the A-side artist that's lifting up 
this 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 musician. But as far as the city of Houston, you looking at it for the market share. All of these country ass people in Houston, they got all of this land, all these clubs, all these women, all these people in these big ass arenas and events that's going on, but they don't have a a a, a large community and representatives of people that are knowledgeable about the music industry that have resources that can say hey y'all been around this artist and you helped them you was in the studio when they was making that song you told them to add this and this on the hook you get a couple writer points for that mm -hmm. or you was up in there when you made the beat you supposed to get okay you, you was y'all was in the you brought him to Houston and you took him to this club and you took him to this hood and you made, introduced him to Charlemagne it's a feature and the song come behind that mm -hmm. In every other city, it's a long list. California, it's a long list of artists from the Bay all the way to L.A. They got Drake's songs with Drake. So how did how did Drake love Houston so much at that time, and not have music with artists that you are uplifting from this community? Fuck me, I don't care. It was it's bigger than me. And I didn't like, care about the song with me. A whole lot of sense to me. You know what I'm saying? But what I would like it, up it, from then to now, uh, Travis Scott is the only rapper that still got a song with Drake. So. All right, my bad, y'all. I had a call I had to deal with, but I felt like that was the segue for us to go into the next segment of the show. Sauce Walker calling Drake what we already know Drake is, um, a chameleon, one that goes from culture to culture, and he's able to switch up, use any style, perform, and in any type of genre and do it at a very, very high level. I'm not trying to say it in a derogatory or a negative way. I think Drake is very, very talented. I think that um, I just want a little more from Drake. Uh, and I actually agree with Sauce Walker. Uh, I think that Sauce Walker is one of those artists that have the balls to walk against the grain. He's uh, He can't be blackballed, I guess. I guess he's already been blackballed so he feels like he can just say what he wants and he controls his narrative and his brand um, in a way that he can get away with saying things like this so I agree though um, it does make sense uh, for Drake to spend more time in Houston being that you know he is now a Houston resident he just got the Houston um, driver's license so definitely should be spending more time in Houston, putting on artists from Houston. Um, I mean, but you know, he do represent, I don't know if he ever had a song with Megan Thee Stallion maybe, but he, I, I, I don't know. I don't, if Sauce Walker said it, then it got to have some type of validity to it. I don't think that Sauce Walker just saying anything just to be saying it, but uh, Drake got a Texas uh, ID, a Texas driver's license from Houston, you know. That's basically his third home, because, you know, he really, I thought he was from Memphis, low-key. So he from Memphis, he from Toronto, and he from Houston. So, hey, hey. And it's been said that 